Hello, my name is Nitya and I am a fourth grader from Parkview Elementary School. My invention's name is the SVC, which is a smart vacuum cleaner. What is the SVC? The SVC is a manual vacuum cleaner that uses a microcontroller and multiple sensors to prevent objects that are too big from getting into it. Where did I get this idea? I got this idea by looking at my mom. She was vacuuming and a small object went into the vacuum. The vacuum started acting very weird, making weird noises and generating a weird smell. I also saw some strings and cables t got getting tangled inside the vacuum. I also watched how she struggled to get all of the things out. So I wanted to design a vacuum cleaner that does not suck in these small objects. Challenges and research. After I came up with the idea of the SVC, I researched to know all of the all about the operation of a normal vacuum cleaner. After I became an expert on that, I checked to see if a similar invention to mine already existed, and yes it did. It is a robot vacuum cleaner. The robot vacuum cleaner can clean by itself and has navigation, which requires a lot of programming. I found out that the robot vacuum cleaner has many disadvantages, including being very expensive. So I targeted my SVC to be cheaper than the robot and clean more efficiently than it. A problem that I faced during this process is deciding the size that the sensors should let, deciding the size of objects that the sensor should let inside the SVC. I first thought that I should put 20,000 microns, but I found out that 20,000 microns equals 20 millimeters, and small objects like Legos are 4.8 millimeters in size. So I reduced the size to 2,000 microns, so the SVC won't suck in things like Legos. How does the SVC work? The SVC works by having sensors at the bottom area. And like I said before, they will be programmed to let in objects that are less than or equal to 2,000 microns in size. If an object is bigger than 2,000 microns, the sensors will send a signal to the microcontroller, which is inside the SVC. The microcontroller will turn off the electrical motor, which completely turns off the SVC. This allows the human vacuuming to pick up the object and put it away. Then the human can go back to vacuuming. Some, some objects that a vacuum cleaner needs to suck are human dust, human hair, pollen, human sneeze dust, viruses, dog hair. These sea sand, coarse sand, these things are about 1,000 microns in size. I put 2,000 microns so the SVC can suck in everything that it needs to. And like I said before, Legos are 4.8 millimeters in size and all of that. The SVC best works in houses and preschools. The, SV the SVC versus robot versus normal. Here, I created a chart comparing the robot vacuum cleaner the SVC, and your normal vacuum cleaner that you have in your house. Like I said before, the SVC can clean by itself and has sensors and navigation. The, S the robot can do that. The SVC needs a human but has sensors. The normal vacuum cleaner needs a human but does not have sensors. The robot doesn't clean as efficiently as the other two vacuum cleaners. The Robot can get stuck in wires or strings because it's very small, while the SVC and the normal do not get stuck in wires or strings. The robot performs best on hard floors, but average on soft floors and carpets, but while the SVC and the normal vacuum cleaner work great on any kind of floor. The robot is very expensive. The SVC is cheaper than the robot, but only a few dollars more than your normal vacuum cleaner. Prototype of the SVC. This is my prototype of the SVC. It's right there. It has sensors at the bottom, like you can see here. And inside is the microcontroller. 
I put a pin diagram of a microcontroller chip to represent the microcontroller inside of the SVC. These are the only differences, and if there was an actual design of the SVC, you wouldn't see the microcontroller and sensors, so you, it would just look like a normal vacuum cleaner. Cost. Now, I am using six sensors. Each sensor is about one dollar. If I had a large amount of sensors, the cost would be even less. I'm using one microcontroller, which is about $15 to $20. If I, again, if I had a large amount, the cost would be even less. This makes the cost of the SVC only a few more dollars than your normal vacuum cleaner. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you liked my presentation and my idea of the SVC. Bye!